I am Dana Malcolm. This is your midday edition of Top Stories for Friday, February 23rd, 2024. Coming up, the news that matters most. Flo's TV packages will give you something to talk about with quality entertainment for any and everyone. Paramount Plus Originals, blockbuster movies, iconic brands like Showtime, CBS, Nickelodeon, and more. Get the Flow TV Plus package with 119 channels and Paramount Plus access for only $45 a month. Switch to Flow TV today for a world of entertainment. He was reportedly trying to flee the Turks and Caicos last Thursday, February 16th, and now he is arrested and charged as among the people allegedly part of a gun smuggling ring. Gino Gerbex, the brother of Lorenzo Gerbex. Gino is the elder brother and was already checked in when he was caught and taken before the court to face those gun charges. The man was remanded to the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation on the same date that his younger brother Lorenzo was granted bail. This past Tuesday, February 20th, both brothers are formerly charged with conspiring to supply firearms and ammunition following a six-month-long investigation, says the TCI police force. Also accused in the same criminal investigation, Ryan Smith and James Ferguson. The elder brother is expected to be granted bail in the coming days. The Department of Environment and Coastal Resources, DECR, is inviting the community of Grand Turk to the Leap Year local market. Residents are called to join in supporting local craft vendors, food vendors, and listen to good music as well as enjoy a few exciting cultural events. That's on February 29th, next Saturday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. For more information, contact the DECR in Grand Turk at 338-317-224. Coming up this Saturday is the Q-Town Farmer's Market in Providenciales between 8 and 1 p.m. Magnetic Media is your news leader. Century 21 Arishar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arishar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. The Ministry of Tourism donated eight desktop computers to the Victoria Public Library on the island of Grand Turk recently. Minister of Tourism Josephine Connolly presented the computers to Minister of Education Rachel Taylor, as well as Mrs. Keisha Case, Acting Director of Technical Services. TCIG says the computers will greatly enhance the library's technological capabilities, providing patrons with access to a wide range of educational resources and digital services. The government says it has achieved its entire mandate in the realm of education, ticking off everything it promised and more is coming this year. That is according to Premier Washington Mizik. The Turks and Caicos Community College has opened a satellite campus at the Madhuri Basin High School in South Caicos and will open a second campus at the Raymond Gardner High School in North Caicos in September 2024. Mizek also revealed while speaking during the February 19th State of the State Address that the newly minted Early Start Daycare Assistance Program now supports 93 children ages 0 to 3 in 20 daycares across the country. The Social Enrichment Academic After School Program has over 200 students enrolled and the Nutritional Program will be launched in 2024. The Power of Attraction Magnetic Media you can always find what you're looking for and what you need at Quality Food World. Shop retail, shop wholesale. Quality has the brands you know, the brands you love. Always quality. Big savings every day. And remember to look out for sales for even bigger savings. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mondays through Saturdays. Open 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. On the Five Keys Access Road. Quality Food World, a prime trading company. You could save a life this weekend if you give blood at the Harvest Bible Chapel Blood Drive. Set for Saturday, February 24th, 2024 from 3 to 6 p.m., it will be held on site at the church. All are invited to come out and participate. Aside from this event, residents can also register at the National Blood Bank to become a donor. 
The United Kingdom has unveiled the largest ever grant offer for farmers in the coming financial year, expected to total £427 million. Under the initiative, the UK will put more money into schemes like the Farming Productivity Grant, which provides support for farmers to invest in automaton and robotics. While speaking at the National Farmers Union Conference in Birmingham, Rishi Sunak, UK Prime Minister, also announced a new annual UK-wide food security index to capture and present the data needed to monitor levels of food security. That is it for this edition of the news, but remember these and more stories are posted to our website. Get all the details at magneticmediatv.com or take a read of our magnate. I am Dana Malcolm on behalf of the entire news team. Thank you so much for joining us. The news is a Magnetic Media production.